Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be showing how to do patchwork knitting in continuation, which means without the need to sew any patch. So I have casted on 30 stitches and made a small one by one rib. So I will be using different colors on 10 stitches. That is, I'll be using three different colors for the first row. Okay, so let's start. So for first patch, I'll use the same color and knit first 10 stitches. So I have knitted 10 stitches with grey color. Now I will add a new color for next 10 stitches which is white. I will attach white color like any other yarn I will connect for example if the grey color ends here and I need to attach a new ball of yarn of grey color only. In a similar way, I will attach the next color yarn. Okay, so I have a complete tutorial on my channel how to attach a new ball of yarn with your current project without any holes or knots. So you can watch that. I will give the link in the description as well. So let's attach the new yarn. First of all, we do the knit. Then place the yarn and bring all the yarn forward. Make this stitch, bring this strand backwards and knit stitch and now normally knit. So now I will make 10 stitches with white color. You can see that this white yarn is attached in a very clean way. There is no holes and I have not made any kind of knot. In a similar way now I will attach the third color with my project which is red color. Okay, so I will attach the third color in the same manner. Place yarn. Um, bring all the color in front. Make the stitch. Take this strand back and make the stitch. And now I will knit all these stitches with red color which are 10 stitches only. So we are completed with our first row in which we have used 3 colors and 10 stitches for each color. Now I will make the second row on the wrong side. So to do patchwork knitting, uh, there are two main things that we need to learn. First is that how to switch from one color to other color, which I will show you now. And second, when you have made the desired length of one color patch, how to attach next color here horizontally, right? So I will show both the things in this video. So let's start with the wrong side row. So now let's purl all the stitches, not all, 10 stitches with the red color. So 
so I have knitted um, first 10 stitches with the red color now here we need to change um, our color so what we will do is we will take this color over the color which is white which we want to use next and purl all next number of stitches in the same way so just cross the older color on the new color like this And normally purl so we have done that to make sure that this is like bind somehow and it is not loose because if you like leave this um, strand open then there will be a hole here big hole if this is not under the stitch okay so now we will purl 10 stitches with white color now again we have to change the color we will do it in the same manner just bring this white color over the next color and the new color in this side and purl normally bring this color over so we are now done with the second row as well now we will make the third row and I'll, I will show you how to change the colors on the right side of your work. Okay. So first is gray color only. First 10 stitches with gray color. So now we have to change the color so what we will do same thing that we did on the wrong side the older color we will take on front and the new color we will take from the bottom okay and not knit normally just make sure that older color is above the new color that we want to use and knit normally Similarly, we have done this because we just want this color to be binded and we don't want this to stay open and make a hole over here. I'll show you again in red color. Again, we need to change color here same thing we need to do this is the color we want to use now white is the older color so we will bring take white color over and red color from below and knit white color should be up and knit normally so 
so now we have completed the two rows as you can see that patch has started um, so I will complete few rows similarly and then come back again So now I have knitted few rows in these colors so it's nothing difficult just you need to remember is that the older color should be above and the color which you want to use next should come from below in both the sides right as well as wrong side only one this thing needs to be taken care of so now um, we have made like three patches of different colors so generally patchwork is works like that you will now uh, knit three different colors on this okay so I will show you one color I will attach a different color here and continue white and gray color as it is okay so I am attaching on the wrong side you can attach on the right side as well like instead of here you can attach a new color from here also so there is nothing new you need to attach the new color normally if you know how to attach any other color in the same way you need to attach a new color simply just pearl with the new color you can also attach this yarn in the manner that I showed in the beginning that how to attach a new yarn So nothing much you just need to make sure the older yarn is above and the new yarn is under and then normally pull. So 
older yarn should be above new yarn should be under and fall normally I changed the color from this so if you want to make three different colors here you can change the color from here and then in a similar manner like I attach the colors here you can attach the color here uh, that's all for this video if still there is anything that I missed out and you have any kind of doubt you can always write in comment section I hope this video was helpful to you and if you ever make a patchwork, do share it with me. Thanks for watching.